Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kate Swan. If you're new here, I like to talk about luxury handbags, shoes, accessories, all types of things like that. So if you're into that kind of thing, feel free to come subscribe and join our little luxury family. Today I have a very exciting video and I haven't done one of these in a long time and my dog is scratching. Come here, Maxine. You want me on camera? You want me in the video? Maxine hasn't been in a video in a long time. All right, can you go to your bed? Can you go to your bed while I'm trying to do something? I'll be with you momentarily. Thank you for your patience. Anyway, I'm doing something that I have wanted to do for a while. I usually do one of these videos every year and I have not done one for 2022 yet. So this is gonna be my luxury handbag collection. There has been a ton of change in my collection since that last video and I just wanna update you guys as to what bags are in my little collection right now. I guess it's not really little. I would say it's like medium size and I wanna keep it that way. I don't wanna have a very large collection. I felt like before I had too many bags and I don't want only like three or four bags. Like I don't wanna be super minimalist with it, but I like I like the number of bags that, that are in my collection right now. So if I do bring something else in, I probably will sell something. But let me stop talking because I'm just gonna go ahead and get right into the bags. I don't think I'm gonna do this in a specific order. I have like my collection of bags over here. I'm just going to pull them as I see them um, and maybe I'll save like the Hermes bags for last and that's the order that I'll do everything else and then we'll save Hermes for last. <laughs> Let's start with a couple Louis Vuitton bags. So this is one of the older bags in my collection. I bought this probably around like 2017, 2018 and I have been into bags for a really long time but I didn't start my collection until like a couple years ago. Um, I only had like some like a few pieces before that so I had like the next bag that I'm going to show you too. I'll just bring them both out right now. I've had these two both for a long time. I bought this one in about 2015. My Speedy 35, Speedy 30, Speedy 30, right? I'm pretty sure it's the Speedy 30, um, <laughs> the bandolier version. I said this in my last video, but I've tried to sell this bag a couple times and it didn't work out. Like both of the sales fell through. So I decided that that was my like sign to keep this bag in my collection. And I actually use it a lot more right now. Um, I like to take this bag on flights because I like to have like either my like carry on luggage or a backpack or something that I put in the overhead. And then I like to have this with me at my seat under the seat. So this has been handy actually a lot for me. It's pretty much like weatherproof. Um, I love this bag. I am really glad that I kept it and I think that's amazing. But yeah, I've had it since about 2015. And then I've had this bag, like I said, since about 2017, 2018, I bought this pre-loved. I bought both of these pre-loved. This one was barely used and I bought it on Fashion File. Um, and then this is my very first Fashion File purchase, <laughs> I think. I had a Celine Nano also, and I'm not sure which one came first, but um, this bag I bought from eBay. I think that it was maybe like $200, and I used this at like every club in LA probably, so <laughs> when I used to live there. So this bag has been everywhere with me. It has been to tons of bars. It has been on like day drinking trips it's been everywhere like she's really gone through a lot and i don't use it that much anymore but i do keep it because i think it's super handy um just for when you need a crossbody bag like this it's it's really handy i'm not like afraid to um really damage it because the leather is very patinaed and it's already like it's not in the best condition and this canvas is so thick like it's not like the louis vuitton canvas now this canvas is really really thick and durable so i'm not afraid to take this bag anywhere <laughs> Also, I still have my Louis Vuitton backpack. I have like a vintage Louis Vuitton backpack. It is in our storage um, room, so I didn't want to go and dig through all the stuff in there to go find it. I will insert a picture of it though. I've had that bag for a long time also, probably also bought in 2017, 2018-ish. Um, so I still have it. I just, it's in the storage thing because I don't use it very often anymore. <laughs> Next up, we have these two. I guess I kind of am going in a little bit order of brand. I'll try to group them together, I guess. Um, so this next one, this bag has become um, really a kind of staple in my collection because I can take it anytime I go out. Uh, this is my Chanel Wallet on Chain in black caviar with silver hardware. Um, I actually got a pretty good deal on this. I got this from Rebag and I was not going to buy one of these because I felt like the price on these were so high now and I didn't feel like it was worth it and I'm like it's such a small bag what am I going to do like with that and I started going to like a few concerts and a few things like that because I, I haven't really been out in a while. Like I haven't been going to like bars and clubs and stuff like that. But 
I found this really handy for when you do actually go and it just comes in clutch for the times that you need a clutch. Okay, excuse my corny joke, but I really do like this a lot and I don't usually take it to dinners, but sometimes I will. Uh, one thing I think that it would be really good for that I don't do a ton is like for brunches and stuff like that. Um, I usually like to wear something more colorful, but if I, I could take this with me if I'm not sure where we're going next. Really just anywhere where I'm not sure if I'm going to want to carry a bag, I can carry this. Also, I have the little, um, I'm sure you guys have seen them before, the little, I don't know what you call them, little clips on here. You won't be able to see them very well, I don't think. I have one on each side. Um, basically just to make the strap a little bit shorter. I got these from Amazon. Um, I ordered them from that other place that everybody orders them from, but they were going to take too long to get here, so I ordered some more from Amazon, which was way cheaper, so just look on Amazon. Or I think the Chanel Boutique will also give you them. I've heard a few people say that, but I never go to the Chanel Boutique anyway, so that I, no, <laughs> I don't want to stand in line. So then on the inside, I have a little insert in here. I don't want to take it out because it's, it's like a little bent, but I have the insert in here that keeps it open. Um, I can't remember what it's called, but I will either put it on the screen or link it in the description because this has been a lifesaver. Also, this isn't a Dior bag, I don't know. I think this is from my like visor or sunglasses or something. And then this one, I haven't taken this out in a little bit, but I am gonna take it on vacation with me soon. This is my Chanel Extra Mini. If you've seen <laughs> my videos about this before, you know that I adore this bag. I sent it off to leather surgeons to kind of get a makeover because it was in rough shape when I got it. So you'll notice that the paint does look like a little bit probably different than um, what a lot of just regular lambskin bags will look like. The leather surgeons told me that it is going to um, affect the texture of the bag when they painted this one, especially with reds. So I knew that that was going to happen. I actually like, I don't mind the texture at all um, that it has now. And it's a little bit wrinkled, but it was like that before. <laughs> so really, I think that they did an amazing job with this bag especially with the chain. The chain was like basically black, you guys. I like, I had to do something about it. So I sent that there. Um, they cleaned and repaired everything and repainted everything. And now she is just gorgeous. And I'm gonna take this to Hawaii with me pretty soon, which is really great. Also, I think this is a perfect like little, you know, just on the go traveling around bag. I'm hoping to wear like a cute little sundress with it. And yeah, I actually ordered a Lily Pulitzer dress that I think is gonna go really well with this. Hopefully I'll take pictures and I will post them on my Instagram. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram, by the way, I will put my Instagram on the screen so that you can go follow me there if you want to. Uh, I post lots of stuff out of handbags, especially in my stories. So we have one more Chanel bag, but speaking of Chanel, I just wanted to address the fact that I have no jumbos at the moment. Um, I sold my Chanel jumbos a while ago. Like I think it was probably like in January I sold the last one and it is not because I don't love that bag. I absolutely love that bag and I will probably buy it again. I just saw how high the prices were resale for Chanel and I was like, I'm gonna sell these now while the prices are so high because I got like some good money for them. So <laughs> that's basically why I did it. And I also felt like, I was like, oh, my Chanel jumbo era is over. And I've recently figured out that it is not because I wanna buy another one. I have seen some of these resale prices coming down a little bit and I'm gonna wait longer. Um, because I think that I think that luxury bag prices for resale are gonna go down even more pretty soon. So that's just my personal opinion though. But I'm gonna wait a little bit and then I'm gonna probably buy another Chanel jumbo. So it is not over for me in the jumbo. I still love that bag and I will get another one, but just not yet. <laughs> so for Chanel, this is the only like real bag that I have besides the little mini bags and the mini bag and wallet on chain. I've had this bag since um, like I think I bought it in maybe June of 2020 and this, I bought it in almost brand new condition. This is my Chanel classic flap in small, in caviar, in black with silver hardware. I, I said this before in my last video too, in my last uh, collection video too. I expected this to be a temporary bag for me. I thought that I was going to buy it and then resell it. Um, because I got it for a pretty good price. I got it for below retail and it was almost brand new. And that's when the small was kind of hard to find. So I got a pretty good deal with this. And I was like, oh, I'm just going to wear it for a while and then I'll sell it and I'll probably make a profit on it. But I never could part with this bag. I, not never, but I'm saying like uh, out of the last like couple years, I haven't been able to part with it. Like it hasn't even crossed my mind again to sell it. And I just really love it. I think it comes in handy for any time that you put on an outfit and you're like, oh, I'm going to dinner. I don't know what to to wear as a bag. Oh, I'm going to an event. I don't know what to wear as a bag. 
um, and it just pulls everything together. I tend to wear this in a bit more formal setting than I would wear the jumbo. Normally the jumbo would be like me running errands, going to the grocery store, um, just going to be out all day kind of thing. But this bag I specifically really use in the evening. Um, there are some ex exceptions to that, but that is how I use it and I love it for that because it holds enough stuff that you can take it out on an evening and feel like you have everything that you want and need. Um, and it still just looks so cute and classy and like it's so appropriate and still for evening wear. Like, not like evening wear, evening wear, like you were in a gown or anything, but like you know what I'm saying. Like you're going to dinner and you're like going on a night out kind of thing <laughs> or you're going to an event. Um, I think that this is so appropriate for that. Okay, you guys, I guess I didn't really group them by section. I, it, it didn't work out. So I'm going to show you some more Louis Vuitton bags that I have. Um, first of all, this is the most complimented bag that I have. Like, this is probably also the cheapest bag that I have, and it's the most complimented bag that I have. This is the, I think it's the Mini Speedy. I think it's called the Mini Speedy. I get it confused with the, the is it the Nano Speedy that's out now? This is a discontinued bag. It is vintage, um, and it's so cute. I got this off eBay. It holds everything that I would need for something that is held at a convention center or like an arena or something like that. So it's perfect. I also use it as a brunch bag or like a lunch bag. Um, and I just get so, I put a twilly on it sometimes and people, people love it for some reason. It's, I get it because it's so adorable, but I get the most compliments on this bag. <laughs> I'll keep it short with the next two because I already did a video about these and it was my most recent video if you guys want to check it out. Um, but I'll just show these both at the same time. So this is my Louis Vuitton Capucines BB. Has quickly become one of my favorite bags. I want another one. Um, maybe the PM size, maybe just a different color of the BB, maybe a mini even. Right? Probably not a mini though, but maybe another BB, I don't know. <laughs> I adore this bag. It is so useful. I love, love, love it so much. And it just, I've said before that like you just feel a certain type of like special when you're carrying an Hermes bag. And I feel that way about this bag. Like the leather on it, it feels like good quality. It seems like better quality than a lot of Louis Vuitton bags, and I've heard that that's because it is, um, and that they're like made a little differently from different materials and stuff like that, so it probably just is. <laughs> um, but I just feel extra special carrying this bag. Like I said, I won't talk about it too much because there's already a video on it, and same thing for this one, the Palm Springs Mini, a newer addition to my collection. Um, I just love it. I take this, there's, my stuff is in it right now. I take this like all types of places. This is like, one of my go-to's. Okay, so I've obviously put the big orange box behind me, so we're gonna get to the Hermes part in a second, but first I wanted to add my Telfair bag in here because I really like this bag. I actually use it as a beach bag and a pool bag, and it carries everything that I need. I think it's the medium size. I'm not an expert on these. <laughs> I think it's the medium size, so I bought it on StockX because I couldn't, I, I, <laughs> I was impatient, honestly. Um, I know I could have waited for the day that I can't remember what it's called, but when you can like put in your order and they'll get to it basically, um, it just takes a while. So I was kind of just impatient and I bought it on StockX and I paid a little bit extra for it, but that is okay. Um, because I use this all the time now that I'm in California. I didn't really use it in Arizona. I bought this a while ago and I haven't really used it until I moved here. And now I just, I take this to the beach whenever I walk there and I take it to the pool anytime I go there. All right, next I'm gonna do my Evelyn's. I have two, I love these. This is my Evelyn GM. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. <laughs> it's the GM, right? Yeah, this is the GM. Cause there's like a really, really big one. That's something else. And then there's the PM which is my other one. And then the TPM is the little tiny one. If I'm wrong, that's fine. Uh, it's not a big deal. So <laughs> um, this is the big one. I love this because it fits my laptop. It fits the MacBook Pro. Um, if you have a case on it, it'll fit like kind of. Um, it'll, or it'll fit the other way too. But if you have a case on it, it might not fit. My case doesn't fit in here. So I just carry the um, laptop just in the bag itself. Um, and I usually don't need to do that, but when I want to go somewhere, I don't want to carry a backpack, but I want to take my laptop. Like, um, I actually used this when I, um, went to New York for work and I didn't want to carry a backpack around everywhere, but I had to take my laptop. So I put it in here and it was perfect. I love it. Cause, cause you can still be a little stylish. Like I didn't want to carry like a, like a laptop bag or like a laptop backpack kind of thing. Like I wanted to keep my outfit stylish and I love this bag. It's, it's so soft, you guys. Like. The leather on this is just 
amazing like it feels like it's it's a mess of course it's amazing also just to note i put this little short strap on it i thought the strap was gonna be longer when i ordered it. i got this on etsy from shoulder bag strap and i thought it was gonna be longer um so i need to order a longer one but for now this is fine and one day i do want to get the same bag but with gold hardware i think it would just really set this bag off um, I am thinking about actually going to the boutique to try to ask for one to be on like a if, if they have one in stock or to like be on a wait list for one. I really don't want to go through the whole Hermes thing. Like there's always a line like I don't want to go stand in line and that sounds like I'm just being kind of I feel like stuck up because I don't want to stand in line. It's not that it's because I don't feel like that's a luxury experience like I would rather just order online. So if I, I just haven't seen one pre-loved with gold hardware that is a decent price and I would rather just buy it new. Um, because some of the pre-loved ones are just higher than the new ones. So I might try for that in the Hermes Boutique. I really don't want to do that though. Uh, maybe while I'm in Hawaii actually I might go try for this one. That's actually a good idea. I didn't think about that. Maybe. I don't know. Um, yeah, I really want one of these with gold hardware and then I'll probably sell this one. And we have this one. I just used this bag the other day. I also have a strap, like a short strap on this. I just think it makes it look cuter because I carry it on my, like the crook of my arm a lot. Um, I just think this makes it look way cuter. I can also carry it like this. Um, I hardly ever carry a crossbody. I just don't really like the way that that looks. But unless I have like a lot of stuff in it, like if I have my laptop in there, I'm carrying a crossbody. Um, but for this one, I really like carrying it with a little strap. It's so perfect. Same thing, also got this from Shoulder Bag Strap, the color. Like when they say that the colors are like the color of the bag, they mean it. This is a perfect match, like perfect. Um, but yeah, this one is beautiful because it has gold hardware. Um, I think this is e -toop. I get e -toop and E-Tan mixed up. I'm pretty sure this is e -toop. Like 90% sure this is e -toop. If I'm wrong, like I said, it's fine. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> also, can somebody please tell me to stop wearing these foreign sandals? Like I really need to be forced to stop wearing them. Like look at them. Like, do you see this? Like, this whole piece is just sticking out. Like, I I don't know. Maybe I can take these to a cobbler. I already have a new pair that I bought, like, eight months ago to wear. They're exactly the same as this. And I have not worn them because I still, like, oh, these still work. Like, no, they're, they're literally falling apart. Like, I can't keep wearing these. I'm not wearing them anywhere fancy, but, like, they're not, they, I shouldn't be wearing them. Like, tell me to stop, please. Just tell me to let it go. Or, like, maybe I'll try to take them to a cobbler and see if they can be fixed because I just don't want to let them go. Like the inside is looking rough. Like we're we're not doing well with these. I've had these for a long time and I have completely destroyed them. You guys probably already know which one is in this box. I only have one uh, Hermes bag box now. Ugh, this one is my beautiful Kelly 32 in the color blue electric. I adore this bag. I think that this bag is the most me. Like, I think that this bag is a good representation of like my personality. I think it's perfect. I love it so much. Um, I don't really have too much to say about this because I've definitely done other videos on it. I just love it. I bought it from Fashion File um, not even a year ago. It hasn't even been a year yet. And I got it for myself actually because I got a new job. So I sold a couple bags and I bought this. Um, to celebrate my new job so now when I see it I think about like my accomplishments and getting into a new industry and like really just the work that I put in to do that and this was my little reward. <laughs> okay this video is getting long all right next one. <laughs> Sorry guys my camera stopped because that's how you know this video is too long so um, this is my Birkin 30 and the leather is Epsom, the color is graphite and the hardware is palladium. And I have a little Mai Tai organizer inside. I love the Mai Tai organizers because they're soft. I don't like the feeling of felt. And I've talked about this before in other videos, but yeah, this is my one of my favorite bags, one of my most used bags. This is really one of my go-tos when I'm going somewhere and I'm like, oh, like I feel like I feel like the Birkin today and I want to be neutral, you know, just casual, just chill. I actually completely forgot to add my pink Delvo bag. I absolutely do still have it and I still love it. I just forgot to add it in the video. That is actually the last bag and if you know me you will notice that I don't have any Birkin 35s anymore. I sold both of them. Um, I also sold my red Birkin 30 and I can talk about that a little bit more in another video because I really don't want to make this like too too long but I don't have them anymore and I do want to buy another Birkin 35 at some point because I really love the size of that bag. I think it's amazing 
but for my lifestyle right now I just wasn't using it very much so that is pretty much the summary of it <laughs> anyway I think that that wraps this video up I just wanted to share my collection with you since it has changed so much really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this one also, if you want to follow me on Instagram, I'll put my Instagram on the screen again in case you want to come join the little Instagram family as well. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys!